I'm so fucking mad right now. I'm so sick of having to wait. Wait for people to catch up to me. I'm sick of having to wait for my imaginary boyfriend to get it. Waiting for him to give me what I want when he need it. Which isn't much to ask, by the way. It really isn't much to ask for. It's like really super simple. You know, I ask for maybe two nights a week. Or two activities a week. And, you know, some sex. Not too much to ask. Some text messages. Maybe a couple phone calls. A FaceTime. Seems simple, right? (laughs) You would think it would be simple. But it's not. It's not simple at all. It seems to be the hardest fucking thing to do in the whole goddamn world. (sighs) Mind you, I think he's divorced with two kids. That he's somehow a single parent too. And they're partially grown. But, you know, who's judging? Because I'm a single parent, too, to an almost half-grown child. And so I really can't judge anybody for that. But that makes me me both understanding and aware of bullshit when I hear it. And because I'm such a softy, I can stretch my bullshit meter out pretty far. (sighs) Sorry, the mini on in your ear. I can stretch my bullshit meter out pretty far. But, like... (laughs) I'm being wound up to the point of... My girlfriend calls it franchising, I guess. I get the reference, but... It seems like it's a little bit more sinister than that because, like, he's not trying to make a baby in a life with me. He's just trying to string along the idea of the happy life and then giving me tastes of it with... Love bombs like it. I don't fucking know. It's so fucking rude and weird, and I keep fucking falling for it because I want to be under. What the fuck is going on upstairs? I hate my neighbor. Why can't I have normal neighbors? That's okay. Um, fuck it, fuck it, that doesn't bother me. Anyway, my life is... <sighs> interesting. And I'm fucking fabulous, and I don't know why I'm still dealing with this bullshit, because he's awesome, and the good outweighs the fucking bad most of the time. And blah, 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 you know, all the other bullshit we sing songs to ourselves. In order to still keep us around. And it would be even better if I was getting some dick. But I'm not. So yeah. You can go ahead and shoot me in the head now. Because this has never happened to me before in my fucking life. And kudos to this motherfucker for fucking me along this long. Like kudos to you bro. Kudos to you for like. Railing me for this long without actually getting some pussy. Because. You're a fucking genius. I gotta hand it to you, bro. You have made a fool out of this bitch. And 
And I'm still falling for the sweetness. And I'm still falling for the understanding. And I'm still falling for the I'm sorry. I know I'm an asshole and I just need to work it out. Yeah, I'm still falling for all that bullshit. (sighs) Because deep down inside, I'm a sucker for the fucking... (sighs) I'm a sucker for the big picture and the fantasy of it. Never really the full reality. I always see the promise in people. I now we see the potential in people until I see them wasted away. <laughs> Sorry for yawning in your ear again, but I don't feel like talking to many people, so I fucking figured I'd keep an audio journal and just talk to everybody. <laughs> I don't fucking care. It's all gonna be displayed eventually. Truly wonderful guy. His grand gestures can be adorably cute. You know, for someone like me who's been like starved for that kind of affection at times, you know. I didn't grow up the most self confident being in the world. I wasn't always as fabulous, <laughs> I wasn't always as divine. Um, I had some issues, <laughs> um, you know, but I worked through them and got me where I am today. And I know I'm a stand up bitch, so color me surprised <laughs> at the level of fuckery I'm, I'm taking here, especially after the level of fucktards I've been with in my entire life. The amount, I should say. It's, um, I could write many books. <laughs> oh, boy. It's, it's, uh, astounding. But anyway, I digress. So now we're in the middle of a fight. But he doesn't know it's a fight because I'm being somewhat passive-aggressive. Yet patient and kind. And explaining myself calmly because, you know... Angry black woman. <laughs> Don't want to go there. And he really is bending over backwards to do the little things that I've been asking for for a while. But it took the motherfucker like three months to get here. So I'm fucking bored. And I'm tired. I'm fucking horny. And I'm tired of waiting. Like, I'm tired of waiting to, you know, for the kids to get used to us. I'm tired of waiting for you know, for his work to calm down and for him to not be so stressed at work and then for when he's not at work to not be depressed about not being at work. Like, I'm tired of that roller coaster. Even though I'm compassionate about it because I go through the same shit myself sometimes. And I also know what it's like to have a kid who's not really, like, that cool about who we fucking date. No, I really don't because my kid's never been that much of a dick. But, um, you know, I also... Uh, I haven't dated in like seven years. (laughs) No one real. (laughs) But anyway, I digress. Again, um, prepare for rabbit holes. I'm sorry. I will go on a tangent and follow a feather. Like, nobody's business. Um, But, I'm just... (sighs) Ugh, I got horn swoggled the other way by a non fuck boy. I got I got fucked by an emo. An emo punk rocker. I'm so upset. Well I'm not really upset, I'm just kinda of disappointed in myself. Like, you can do better, girl. Like, you're fucking hot, and you're really smart, and you run businesses, and you have a kick-ass kid, and you, like, 
have done shit that no one else has ever done before. Like, right now, you're rubbing your eyes to kingdom come. But, bitch, because that's... You lived your dreams instead of just dreamt about them. So. Ugh. I'm tired, y'all. Like, literally and figuratively. I want this relationship ride to be, like, fucking over. Like, can I just build one now? <laughs> like, I'm with the incels at this point. Like, I'm a decel. Deliberately celibate. <laughs> Hello. Decel, right here. Um, you know, like my alter ego. We're decels. And um, I'm chilling. Like, I'm fucking, I just want to build a boy. <laughs> or a bot or whatever the fuck I want for the night. To program something in there, hope he's synthetic enough so I don't get electrocuted. <laughs> I hope I don't accidentally program a race that's because you know AI. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh. Um, you know, so there's that. Um, hopefully he won't have no, won't have no babies, you know, that factory's closed, dead and gone, and I'm tired of thinking about it, so, if we just throw that trap shut, that'll be one less thing to worry about on my list, buddy. We can have a barbecue. <laughs> Roast that shit up. Put that in some placenta pellets, baby. Uterus for one. Or I could donate it to science. Anybody want a fucking uterus? I'll give you mine. I'm over it. No more kids. I love the one I have. Don't want any more. I got a whole bunch of other little rugrats around this country to raise. Lots of other people's kids seem to like me. I did a pretty damn good job with my own. I just don't like babies. Well, I mean, I like to look at them, but they're nasty. Anyway, fucking, I'm over this shit. So now I'm in the middle of a fight with this fool. And he doesn't know it yet because I'm being diplomatic. When I really want to tell him I'm feeling like a big raging cunt. And I hate you because we haven't had sex yet. And I wasted all this time on you. When I could have been having sex with other people. <laughs> not just that not just the sex with other people but it really could have been cultivating a relationship with someone like a deep meaningful relationship which is what I always want to do it just so happens that my work has a lot to do with sex too so you know there's that well no, I wasn't really having sex before that either kind of really had a sex game so this guy so that's another reason why I kind of fell for this dick without the dick <sighs> we wanted it to oh my god I really wanted this to work out you know, I already had my wedding party already figured out I put that shit on Facebook that's some I killed that shit in two days I guess I guess it's like getting tattooed I didn't change my status but like I put my bridal party down all my best dudes in it two of my best chick friends too be a rager <laughs> uh, but I guess I should have known it was over when he was not non-monogamous but anyway that's for another time um, I don't know why I've talked to you guys this long but I guess I'll keep doing this one because I seem to like this better than anything else I don't think I'm really digging like video chat. I don't like having to do my makeup and look pretty for you bitches all the time. Because half the time it just makes me self-conscious because my tits are going to fall out eventually. And I'll get nip checked and it's really just my areola and you guys are getting excited about something that's not even halfway near the surface. And, you know, then someone's going to flag me and or say something inappropriate and and I'm going to have to rip someone's head off verbally and it's just not going to be pretty, so. 
Let's keep it here where I can sort of keep on topic and ramble if I have to. Um, where I can lay down and be comfortable. Um, rub my eyes and pick my nose if I need to. <laughs> I can even go on cam if I want to. Oh my god, what the fuck are they doing up there? I really hope he's mauling her. She's not a very nice person. I mean, it's probably wrong for me to wish that kind of bodily harm on her, but I really don't like her that much. And sometimes I do wish bodily harm on her. You know, she's uh, not a nice person. Let's just say she's chased off a couple neighbors. And she's let her daughter fight in our... Uh, in our front lawn against another little girl over a boy, so, you know. But I surely, I really shouldn't wish Bali harm on her because no one deserves that to be hit by another man like that. So, maybe she just dropped something on her foot. I'll stick with that. Yeah, I'll stick with that. That'll clear my conscience a little bit, but I really don't give a fuck about my conscience. But anyway, you probably had to listen to this rather close to your ears because my mouth is dry and I'm extremely dehydrated. It's because I smoked way too much weed tonight. And I haven't felt like getting out of bed to get any water. But now I have to get up because my cat is looking at me like I need to do something for her. And... I guess I need to let this bitch out, so. I'll talk to you schmucks later. But thanks for listening. I don't really like too many people, so. It's easier for me to just talk to this. I need to get it out. Instead of just keeping it all in. And I may as well just get it out this way. So we'll see what happens. He's probably sent another text message. He's probably sitting there trying to figure out how to spin this one because I'm just not waiting anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting. I don't have that much time left to wait. Not that I have a biological clock, but anyway. I'm tired of waiting. I've waited seven some odd years to have a decent buddy, <laughs> my teammate, pal, <laughs> compadre, you know, someone who I can abuse my cats with, huh, Maddie, what up, bitch, yeah, I see you, we talk like this to each other, don't judge me, she's not today, well, yeah, she is, but not right now. She's not looking at me. Right now, she is laying upon my belly, purring contentedly. This bitch has got to get along sometime. Good night.